Jennifer, the firefighter. Jennifer Smith is a firefighter. She is one of the first female firefighters. Jennifer works hard every day. Jennifer exercises every day. She lifts weights. She wants her muscles to be very strong. She saves people's lives every day. She is very strong. Jennifer is married. Her husband is a school teacher. Jennifer's husband is proud of her. Jennifer is a mother. She has two daughters. Jennifer's daughters are proud of her too. Jennifer is happy being a firefighter. Jennifer is happy being a wife. Jennifer is happy being a mother. Getting old. My grandfather is getting old. When I was younger, my grandfather would carry me on his shoulders and we would go for a walk. Now my grandfather cannot put me on his shoulders. He has a hard time walking and he uses a cane. My grandfather used to have lots of hair. Now he is bald. His skin doesn't look like it used to. It is more wrinkled. My grandfather takes more naps than he used to. He goes to the doctors and takes pills for his heart. I love my grandfather very much. I don't like the fact that he is getting older, but my mother says that growing older is just a fact of life. She says that we will all get older. Sometimes my grandfather forgets things. My mother says to be patient. I am patient. I try to help my grandfather as much as I can. I sometimes go for walks with him. I help him to walk when he has trouble. I cheer him up if I think he might be sad. I get things for him, and I even read to him at night. He used to read to me when I was little. Now his eyesight is bad, and he can't see very well. My grandfather tells me stories about when he was a boy. The world was a very different place then. He tells me, his stories are interesting. Sometimes I wish we could trade places for a day so that I would know what it felt like to be old. My grandfather doesn't complain; he jokes about his old bones. I spend a lot of time with my grandfather. I hope that he is around for a long time. Time. Time is something you should never waste. Once an hour is gone, it is gone forever. You should make the most of every minute. Time is a funny thing. Some days go by so slowly. Those are the days that you do things that aren't fun. When you are having fun, time just flies by. Time is made up of different units. Seconds turn into minutes. Minutes turn into hours. Hours turn into days. Days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, and months turn into years. We measure our lives by time. We are very concerned with time. Even little children are very conscious of time. Little children often want to appear older. So if you ask a three-year-old how old he is, he will often say three and a half. Many of our sayings are based on time. Give me a minute. Hold on a second. I'm running out of time. Time's up. I just want an hour of your time. All of these are common things that we say, and they're all based on time. We are a society that lives by the clock. We almost all wear watches, and we glance at our watches a lot. Time is something that we can't see, but it is a big factor in our lives. How many times a day do you look at a watch or a clock? I bet you'd be surprised at just how many times you do. Bugs. Many people are afraid of bugs. Some bugs do bad things, like eating crops or clothes. Some bugs, such as termites, even eat wood. Other bugs can be good. Spiders catch flies. Flies are not good because they carry germs. Insects get caught in the web that the spider builds. Ants get into homes and eat food. Bees are good because honey comes from bees. It is not good if you get stung by a bee. A caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Butterflies can be very beautiful.
You can find grasshoppers outside on a sunny day. Grasshoppers hop through the grass. Crickets make a noise by rubbing their legs together. Dragonflies usually live near water. They have large, colorful wings. Ladybugs are red with little black dots. There are many types of beetles. Nobody wants to have cockroaches in their house. Centipedes have many legs. Fleas get onto your pets and bite them. They make your dog or cat itchy. Mosquitoes can make you itchy when they bite you. Have you ever had a mosquito bite? The kitchen. The kitchen is where we make and eat our meals. There is a stove in the kitchen. Inside the stove, there is an oven where you bake things. You can put a cake into the oven to bake. On top of the stove are burners. The burners get hot. You put pots or pans on the burners. The refrigerator is where we store the food that needs to be kept cold. We keep milk, eggs, cheese, and vegetables in the refrigerator. At the top of the refrigerator is the freezer. The freezer keeps things frozen. We have frozen vegetables, ice cream, and ice cubes in the freezer. We have a toaster in the kitchen. You put the bread in the toaster, and it turns into toast. We have an electric kettle. We boil water to make tea in the kettle. There is a double sink in the kitchen. That is where we wash the dishes. We turn on the hot tap and put some dish detergent into the sink to wash the dishes. Sometimes we put the dishes into the dishwasher, and the dishwasher washes the dishes. There are other things in the kitchen. There are utensils like knives, forks, and spoons. There are tea towels and dishcloths. There are oven mitts and pot holders to take hot things out of the oven. There are pots to cook and boil things in. There are pans to fry things. We have dishes that we eat from. We have plates for our dinner and bowls that we can put our soup in. We drink from cups or coffee mugs or glasses. We keep our juice in a pitcher or a jug. There is a timer that you can set when you are cooking. The timer buzzes when the food is ready. We also have a microwave oven in the kitchen. If we are in a hurry, we cook our food in the microwave. Vegetables. Vegetables are very good for you. They say that you should have three servings of vegetables every day. I like green peas. Peas come in pods. I also like snow peas. You eat the pods on the snow peas. I like corn when it is on the cob. Carrots are good to eat raw. Beans are good for you. There are many different types of beans. There are string beans, kidney beans, baked beans, and lots of other types of beans. Some people don't like green vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. You can make a salad and put lots of different vegetables into the salad. In my salads, I like lettuce, tomatoes, celery, cucumber, radishes, cauliflower, and spring onions. I try to have a salad with dressing on it every day. My dad likes root vegetables like beets and parsnips. My brother will only eat potatoes. He likes his potatoes baked. My mother likes to buy her vegetables at the market. She says they are fresher there. My mother buys a lot of onions. She puts onions in almost all the meals that she cooks. Some children won't eat their vegetables. I didn't like some vegetables at first, but I have become used to them. I like having vegetables with my meals. Making friends. I used to be very shy. I would not go up to someone that I did not know and say hello. I was afraid that people would not want to talk to me. I have changed. I have become less shy. I have learned that making friends is easy to do. All you have to do is say hello. Most people will respond to a smile and a friendly hello. People will begin to talk to you about little things in their lives. You will soon realize that you have something in common with that person. Whenever I start talking to a new person, I find that there is some interest that we share. Maybe we know some of the same people, or we went to the same school. Often we find that we like the same music or the same movies. 
It is easy to have a conversation with someone once you find a topic that you can both relate to. The most important part in making friends is to listen to what the other person says. If you take an interest in them, they are sure to take an interest in you. I have learned many things from meeting people. I have had many fascinating conversations, and I have made a lot of good friends. One day, a girl came up to me and said that she was lost. She couldn't find her way to her English class. I said that I was going to that class too. I told her to come with me. We began talking, and we became very good friends. That was a few years ago. She is still one of my best friends. Just think, if she hadn't been lost, we might never have become friends. Pets. There are many different animals that you can have for pets. The most common pets are cats and dogs. I think the second most common pets are birds and fish. You can hug a cat or a dog. You can play with a cat or a dog, but it is difficult to play with a bird or a fish. Some birds are very smart, and they can be taught to do things. Parrots are very clever. Some of them even talk. Birds usually stay in bird cages. Fish have to stay in the water in a tank or a fish bowl. Some people have gerbils or guinea pigs as pets. There are even people who have ferrets as pets. I have a friend who has a lizard for a pet. She has to buy live crickets for her lizard to eat. Another friend of mine has a pet snake. I don't think I would like to have a pet snake. There are different types of dogs. Some dogs are very big and some are small. A Labrador Retriever is a big dog. A poodle is usually a small dog, although there are some large poodles. Some dogs are noisy and they bark a lot. Other dogs are quiet and obedient. I once had a dog. It was a cocker spaniel. I used to take it for walks. There are different types of cats too. My favorite type of cat is a Siamese cat. Siamese cats have blue eyes. My mother had a Persian cat. It was very furry. My mother said that it used to shed fur all over the house. Pets are a lot of fun, but they are a lot of work too. To be a good pet owner, you have to be very responsible. Jessica's first day of school. Today is Jessica's first day of kindergarten. Jessica and her parents walk to school. Jessica's mom walks with her to her classroom. Jessica meets her teacher. His name is Mr. Parker. The school bell rings at 8:45 a.m. Jessica hugs and kisses her mom goodbye. Jessica's mom says, "I love you." At 9 a.m., Jessica stands for the national anthem. Mr. Parker calls out children's names. Each child yells back, "Here!" Mr. Parker teaches them about letters. Mr. Parker teaches them about numbers. At 10:15 a.m., the students have recess. Recess is fun. The students get to play and eat. At 10:30 a.m., the students go to gym class. At 11:15 a.m., the students return to Mr. Parker's classroom. Mr. Parker tells the students to sit on the carpet. Mr. Parker reads the students a story. Mr. Parker teaches the students a song. The lunch bell rings. Jessica's first day of school is over. Fruit. Some fruit grows on trees. Apples grow on trees. You can get red, yellow, or green apples. Some apples are green until they ripen. Then they turn red. Peaches grow on trees. 
Peaches have a fuzzy skin. Cherries grow on trees. You can climb a ladder and pick cherries from the tree. Cherries and peaches have pits inside them. The pits are not edible. Pears also grow on trees. Lemons grow on trees. They are very sour. Have you ever picked strawberries? Strawberries do not grow on trees. You have to bend down to pick strawberries. Have you ever tried strawberry shortcake? It is very good. Grapes grow on vines. People use grapes to make wine. There are many types of berries. There are blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and cranberries, just to name a few. Some fruits are more exotic. There are mangoes and papayas. They don't grow in Canada. Bananas and oranges don't grow in a Canadian climate either, but we are able to buy them here. Some fruits have to be peeled, and some can be eaten as they are. It is always a good idea to wash fruit before you eat it. The farmers spray the crops with pesticides to kill bugs, so it is good to wash that off. My classroom. My classroom is a large room. It's full of brightly colored pictures. My teacher hangs pictures up all over the walls. There are blackboards at the front of the room. My teacher always has writing all over the blackboards. Sometimes the chalk squeaks when she writes on the blackboard. We cover our ears when that happens. Our classroom is full of desks. There are a lot of students in our class. Our desks are full of books, notebooks, and pens. I try to keep my desk neat. But I have a lot of things in there. My ruler and pencils are always falling out of my desk. At the back of the room is a bookcase full of books. We can sign those books out and take them home to read. I have read a lot of the books. I like mysteries and biographies, so I have taken many of those home. There are also tables at the back of the room. That's where we do our artwork. We spread out big sheets of paper. And use paints or crayons to make pictures. Sometimes we cut things out of magazines with scissors, and we glue pictures to the paper. I like art class. After school, my friends and I often erase the blackboards for the teacher. Then we take the erasers outside and clap them together to get the chalk dust out of them. My friends and I walk home together and talk about what we did in school and what we're going to do after supper. My flower garden. My name is Anne. I love flowers. I have a flower garden. My garden is in front of my house. My neighbor has a garden too. My garden has different types of flowers. I have roses in my garden. I have tulips in my garden. I have petunias in my garden. My garden has different colors. I plant red flowers. I plant orange flowers. I plant blue flowers. I plant purple flowers. I take care of my garden. I water my garden every day. I kill the weeds in my garden. I kill insects that eat my flowers. I love my beautiful garden. Vacation. My family and I went on vacation to Lake Huron. The water is beautiful and blue there, and the sand is nice and white. The week that we were there was very hot. The sun was hot, but the water was still very cold. I went swimming and tried to catch little fish in my hands. I was careful not to get sunburned. We stayed at a hotel that had a pool and a game room. I played pinball and video games sometimes. I like to swim in the hotel pool, but I like the beach better. I would lie on a big beach towel and get warm. Then I would jump in the water and cool off. Sometimes I would just lie on the sand and watch the waves roll up on shore. I found some seashells and saw a crab walking on the sand. At first, I was a bit lonely because I didn't know anyone there. It wasn't long before I met some other kids my age. We built sandcastles together and swam in the lake. The other kids were from different towns, 
so we told each other stories about our schools and friends. We found that we had a lot in common, even though we were from different places. Our families got together and went to restaurants together. We played volleyball on the beach, and we sat around a campfire at night and sang songs. At the campfire, we would roast marshmallows on a stick. I always burn my marshmallows. That is okay. I like them that way. Mostly, we just swam in the lake until we were very tired. I was sorry when our vacation was over. I had a good time at Lake Huron. I met some very good friends there. We still write to each other. Maybe we'll see each other next summer. Niagara Falls. I live in Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is a famous place. A lot of tourists visit here every year. Most of the tourists come to see the waterfalls. The waterfalls are very beautiful and powerful. At night, they shine lights on the falls that make them even more dramatic. Tourists line up against the railings to watch the water as it tumbles into the Niagara River. There are other things in Niagara Falls that the tourists like to visit. There are a lot of gift shops and museums. There are many hotels that the tourists can stay at. Tourism is very important to Niagara Falls. Many people work in the tourism industry. There are many jobs in the tourism industry. You can take a special bus and tour Niagara Falls. You can ride in a horse-drawn carriage in Niagara on the Lake, or you can take a balloon ride over the falls from the American side. You can even ride in a helicopter over the falls. Niagara Falls is very busy in the summertime. Summer is the time when most tourists visit here. Sometimes the tourists think it's raining near the falls, but it is only the mist that rises from the mighty waterfalls. There are many legends and stories connected to Niagara Falls. There is a special legend called the Maid of the Mist. There are stories about the daredevils who thought that they were more powerful than the falls. Some of them went over the falls in barrels, and others walked on tight ropes over the falls. Both of those things are very dangerous. I stay behind the railings when I look at the falls. I know just how powerful the falls are. It is interesting to discover all the stories that there are about Niagara Falls. The library. One of my favorite places is the library. I go there to get books for school, and I go there to get books for pleasure. I often read mysteries for fun. In the summer, I read lots of mysteries. I like to sit outside and read. In the winter, I have to read books for school. I go to the library to find out things for my projects. I often use the dictionary and the atlas. Some of my friends go with me, and we sit at the tables and do our homework. We can't make a lot of noise in the library. People have to be quiet when they're in a library. When I first went to the library, I was confused about how to find books. The librarian showed me how to use the computer to find books. Now I am able to do all my research myself. I have read some very interesting books. I have learned a lot from library books. I always bring the books back on time so I don't get a fine. I am collecting books at home. People often give me books for gifts. Soon, I will have my own library. Reading is a good hobby. Everyone in my family likes to read. The library has other things besides books. There are videos at the library. There are also compact discs at the library. I have a library card, so I can get books, videos, or compact discs whenever I want to. My mother sometimes goes to the library to look at the magazines. She gets some good recipes from the magazines. My father looks for books on how to build things. He is building some bookshelves for me at the moment. He found the instructions in a book. 
My little brother reads children's books. He likes books about trains. I have liked books ever since I was very small. My mother says that reading is a good habit to get into. When I grow up, I have been thinking about what I'd like to be when I grow up. There are so many choices. I could be a principal like my father. I could be a teacher. I like animals. Maybe I should be a veterinarian. My cat just went to the veterinarian to get her shots. I don't think my cat was too happy to be there. I could be a farmer and grow vegetables. Maybe I could be a doctor and cure people. If I was good enough, I could be a famous sports person or a singer. I could be an actor on television or in the movies. Maybe I would like to be a policeman or a fireman. I could rescue people. I can play the piano. Maybe I should be a musician. I could be a lawyer. I sometimes watch shows about lawyers defending people. Lawyers have to be able to speak well. I could be a carpenter and work with wood, or I could be a welder and work with metal. There are just so many jobs. I could work in a restaurant. I could cook food, or I could serve food. I could be an airline pilot or the captain of a ship. I could be a repairman or an artist. The world is full of jobs. Some of the jobs require a lot of education. Some require a little bit of training, and some require a lot of training. It's all up to me. I can be whatever I want to be. Traffic. Traffic moves along on the streets and highways. There are rules that drivers must follow to make the traffic flow smoothly. You must wear a seatbelt. The seatbelt helps to keep you safe. You must stop at all stop signs. You must also stop at a red light. A green light means go, and a yellow light means to be careful. If you see a sign that says school crossing, you have to be careful because you are near a school and children might be crossing the street. Some places are crosswalks; those are places where people cross the street. People who are walking have the right of way. If you hear a siren behind you, you must pull over. An emergency vehicle, like a police car or an ambulance, might need to get somewhere fast. When a school bus puts on its flashing signals, you have to stop. You can't go past the school bus because children may be crossing the street from the bus. You should always obey the speed limit. It is not good to drive too fast. People should never drink and drive. Driving is a serious business. You have to obey all the rules to be a good driver. Music. If you were in an orchestra, what would you play? Would you play a tuba, a trumpet, or a saxophone? Perhaps you would prefer a stringed instrument like a violin or a cello. Maybe you would enjoy percussion more. You could play the kettle drum. There are instruments that have keyboards. A piano and an organ have keyboards. There are instruments that have strings on them. A guitar, banjo, and mandolin have strings on them. There are instruments that you blow into. A flute, a French horn, and a harmonica are all instruments that you blow into. There are instruments that you hit with a stick. A drum and a cymbal are two things that you would hit with a stick. If you are in an orchestra, you have to watch the conductor. He will lead you through the piece of music. You might just want to be in a band for fun. You could join a rock band or a dance band. Some people learn to read music. Music notes are written on a staff. Each note represents a sound. There are whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Each one of these is held for a different number of beats. It is good to learn about music. You have to learn your scales and learn about sharps and flats. If you want to learn how to play an instrument, it is best to take music lessons. My body. 
On the top of my head, I have hair. Below my hair is my face. I have two eyes. I have eyebrows and eyelashes. Below my eyes, I have a nose. My mouth is below my nose. I have lips. If I open my lips, you will see my teeth and my tongue. Below my mouth is my chin. On the sides of my head, I have two ears. My cheeks are on either side of my nose. My neck holds up my head. My neck attaches my head to my chest. On either side of my chest are my shoulders. My arms hang down from my shoulders. I have wrists on my arms. My hands are attached to my wrists. My fingers are part of my hands. I have ten fingers and ten fingernails. My back is at the back of me. Further down, there is my waist. If I wear a belt, I put it on my waist. My hips are below my waist. My legs come down from my hips. My legs are made up of my thighs, my knees, and my calves. My knees can bend. My ankles are below my legs. My feet are attached to my ankles. My toes are part of my feet. I have ten toes and ten toenails. I am me from the top of my head to the tip of my toes. My cat. I got my cat when she was just a tiny kitten. I named her Puff because her fur is soft and fluffy. She has white fur, but her tail, paws, and ears are black. She has a little pink nose and yellow eyes. She says meow whenever she wants a bowl of milk. I feed her cat food and treats. She washes her face with her paw. When she is finished eating, my whole family loves her, and we can tell that she loves us. She loves to curl up in our laps. She purrs whenever we pet her. She is very playful. We sometimes roll up a piece of paper and throw it to her. She loves to chase the paper and hit it with her paws. She also chases bugs. Last night she chased a spider, but she was afraid to touch it. At night, she curls up in my bed with me. She likes to be warm. I have given her a blanket of her own, but when I put her on it, her tail twitches. Her tail twitches whenever she's upset or angry. I know she doesn't want to be on her blanket. She wants to be in my bed. I let her into my bed, and she falls asleep, purring loudly. Who, what, where, and why? These are important words. They're all words that begin questions. Who is about a person? Who is the girl with the blue dress on? Who stole my watch? Who will come with me to the game? Who is driving us to the party? What is about a thing? What is that big thing on the sidewalk? What should I do when I get to your house? What kind of clothes should I wear to the party? What shall I buy you for your birthday? Where is about a place? Where are you going for your vacation? Where did I leave my glasses? Where did my brother go? Where on earth is Timmins? Why is the word that asks for an explanation? Why did you take the last piece of pie? Why is the world round? Why should I give you any money? Why did the chicken cross the street? They say that you should answer all of these questions if you are writing a good story. You have to give the who, what, where, and why to write a good story. The smart paper boy. 
In my town, there is a paper boy who just got an award for his actions. This boy delivered the local newspaper every morning. One of the people to whom he delivered the paper was an elderly man. This man lived alone. The paper boy had often spoken to the man, so he knew that the man lived alone. The paper boy always left the newspaper in the man's mailbox. One morning, the boy noticed that the man had not picked up his newspaper or his mail from the day before. The boy felt that something was not right. All day at school, the boy had a feeling that something might be wrong with the man. After school, the boy went back to the man's house to see if he had taken his mail and newspapers. The newspapers and mail were still in the mailbox. The boy knocked on the man's door. He could hear a faint voice, but could not hear what the person was saying. He tried to open the door, but it was locked. The boy knew that something wasn't right, so he went home and called the police station. He explained to the police that the man lived alone. He gave the address of the man's house to the police. The police knocked on the door, and they also heard the faint voice. The police got into the house and found the man lying at the bottom of the stairs. The man had fallen and broken his hip. The man had not been able to get up. He had been afraid that nobody would find him. He was very grateful to the paper boy for caring enough to get the police. The boy got an award. The man said the boy was a hero. The police said that the boy was an example of a very good citizen. The paper boy and the man are very good friends. The man will never forget what the paper boy did for him. Amy. Amy was a girl who came into our classroom. She had many things wrong with her. Amy was in a wheelchair and she couldn't talk. She couldn't make her hands and feet do what she wanted them to do. We wondered why Amy would even be in our class because she really couldn't do much of anything. Amy had a teaching assistant who had to stay with her all the time. One day the teaching assistant got called away. I had to look after Amy. I was afraid to look after her. I really didn't know what to do. I sat beside Amy and I smiled at her. She smiled back at me. I never realized before she had such a nice smile. Amy made a noise. It seemed like she wanted a crayon that was lying beside her. I put the crayon into her hand. She had trouble holding it, but eventually she got the crayon into her hand well enough so that she could make marks on the paper that was on the tray in front of her. Amy spent a long time making marks on the paper. She tried so hard to create whatever it was that she was drawing. She worked for a long time. I just watched her, and I gave her a lot of credit for not giving up when she obviously had so many problems. When she was finally done, she picked up the paper with great difficulty. With a look of pride on her face, she handed me the picture. It was for me. I was very touched that she spent all that time drawing something for me. I thanked Amy and smiled at her. I told her I loved the picture. I still have that picture, although I'm not sure what it is a picture of. I learned a lot from Amy that day. I saw a brave girl who wouldn't give up. Whenever I think my problems are too big to handle, I think of Amy and I remember her smile. Which direction? Which direction should I go in? Should I go up? If I go up, I will head toward the sky. I can go up the stairs. Should I go down? I can go down the stairs to the basement. I can climb down into a hole. Should I go left or right? I am right handed, so I know which way right is. Should I go backwards? I would be going away from the things that I am facing now if I went backwards. If I went backwards from the thing that I am facing, I would go away from it. Should I go forward? I will just go straight ahead if I go forward. If I am facing something and I go forward, then I will go toward the thing that I am facing. Maybe I should go sideways, but which side? Left or right? It sounds very complicated. But it is not. Directions are very easy to follow if you just stop and think about them. The office. Some people work in an office. 
There are special tools that people in an office need to do their work. There is a computer in the office. There is a telephone. Most of the time, the secretary answers the telephone. The secretary sits at a desk. The secretary has pens and pencils on the desk. The secretary writes on a notepad. Some other things that you would find in an office would include the following: a stapler to staple pages together, a photocopier to copy pages, a pencil sharpener to sharpen pencils, a water cooler where the employees could get a drink of water, a hole punch to make holes in sheets of paper, and liquid paper which is used to blank out errors on a page. Some offices have many employees in them. All of the employees have their own desks. Other offices just have one person at a desk. In some offices, there is a secretary or a receptionist, and then there is the boss in another room. There are often many important papers in an office. Important papers can be called documents. You might have to sign a document or fill out a form in an office. Some offices have bookshelves filled with books. The books are filled with information that the people in the office need. You will have to visit an office sometime. Maybe it will be a doctor's office or a lawyer's office. There are many different types of offices. Diseases. There are many diseases. Some diseases are very deadly, and some are not so serious. Most people catch a cold sometimes. A cold makes you cough and sneeze. Colds can be passed on from person to person. Some people get the flu. With the flu, you get chills and a fever. A fever is a high temperature. If you have the flu, you will feel very bad. You have to stay home in bed. There are diseases that children get. The mumps make you have lumps in your neck. Chickenpox and measles leave you with red itchy dots on your skin. Older people sometimes get arthritis. Their bones get stiff and sore. There are people who get heart disease. In many cases, a healthy lifestyle can prevent heart disease. Cancer can attack different parts of the body. Many smokers get lung cancer. Some diseases are treated with pills or medicine. Other diseases need to be treated in the hospital. Sometimes doctors need to give you tests to find out what kind of disease you have. The doctor might have to do a blood test or an X-ray to find out what is wrong with you. Most diseases can be cured by a doctor. Jobs. There are many different jobs that you can choose from. You can be a doctor or a nurse. You could work in a hospital or doctor's office. You might be a firefighter and put out fires. A policeman enforces the law. An actor plays roles on stage or in the movies. You could drive a taxi or be the pilot of an airplane. What kinds of things do you like to do? You might want to be a sales clerk in a store. Maybe you are good at a sport. You could be a baseball player or a hockey player. Being a dentist is a good job. A dentist fixes teeth. If you are good at arguing, you might want to be a lawyer. Do you like to fix people's hair? You could be a hairdresser or a barber. If you are good with your hands, you might want to be a carpenter or a mechanic. If you like to travel, you could be a stewardess or a travel agent. You could be a teacher or a photographer. Are you artistic or creative? You might want to be an artist or a writer. You could work on construction and build houses. 
You could look after animals and be a veterinarian. If you like to cook, you could be a cook or a chef. There are so many places to work and so many jobs to do. Maybe you could fix computers or work in a library. You could wash windows or be the captain of a ship. There is no limit to what you can be. School. There are different types of schools. There is an elementary school. The children at the elementary school are young. There is a playground for them to play in. The classrooms are bright and airy. There are blackboards in the classrooms. The children sit in desks to do their work. There is a parking lot for the teachers to park in. There is a cafeteria for the students to get food. The principal has an office. Nobody wants to go to the principal's office. It usually means that you are in trouble if you have to go to the principal's office. When you finish elementary school, you go to high school. Most of the students in high school are teenagers. There is a parking lot outside the high school. There is also a football field outside. The students go to classes in different classrooms. They move from classroom to classroom for each subject. There is a cafeteria where they can get their lunches or eat the lunches that they have brought from home. There is a gymnasium where students have physical education. Dances are also held in the gymnasium. Some students go on to university from high school. Students at the university are older. Some of the students are even senior citizens. People come from all over the world to attend the university. There are lots of different things at the university. There is a theater where plays and concerts are held. There is a bookstore where students can buy their textbooks. There is a physical education building that has a swimming pool in it. The parking lot at the university is very big. They call the land that the university is on a campus. Some of the students live on campus in residence. Subjects. There are many subjects that you can take at school. My favorite subject is music. I like to sing and to play the clarinet. I also like art. I am quite good at drawing and painting. History is a good subject. I like learning about the past. Geography is very interesting. We look at many maps in geography. We learn where there are deserts and mountains. I know the names of all the continents and all the oceans. Mathematics is my least favorite subject. I'm not very good with numbers. I am good at addition and subtraction, but I'm not good at division and multiplication. In my school, we learn to speak French. We learn French because Canada has French and English speaking citizens. English literature is a good subject. I enjoy reading books. I also like to write compositions and poetry. Science is my brother's favorite subject. He is interested in plants and he likes to do experiments. We also take drama at my school. I like to act. I got the lead role in the school play. International students. We have many international students at my school. Some of the students come from England. They speak English, but they have an accent that is different from a Canadian accent. Many students are from Japan. They are learning our language and our customs. We have students from Germany, Italy, China, Korea, and Iran. We try to make those students feel welcome here. The students like to see what is here. They go sightseeing. They visit all the places that the tourists like to go to. 
Niagara Falls, and Toronto are interesting places to visit. The students practice their English by talking to Canadians. When they first get here, we show them around. They do many exercises to learn the language. They listen to English songs. They read story books that are written in English. They listen to English language tapes. The best way to learn the language is to talk to other people. It is good to ask questions in English. Canadians try to be helpful to international students. Some of the international students live with host families. The host families have the students living in their homes. It is a good way for the host families and the students to make friends. Many of the international students stay in contact with their friends and host families, even after they have gone back to their homelands. The international students learn a lot from their host families, because they eat Canadian foods, and they learn what it is like to live in a Canadian household. Opposites. Some things are opposites of each other. The opposite of black is white. The opposite of happy is sad. If I am at the opposite side of the room from you, it means that I am at the other side of the room that you are on. The opposite of up is down, and the opposite of left is right. Do you know what the opposite of young would be? Old is the opposite of young. What is the opposite of dirty? Clean is the opposite of dirty. Big is the opposite of small. Man is the opposite of woman. Boy is the opposite of girl. Sometimes people think the opposite things than other people. Someone might be wrong, and someone might be right. The opposite of mother is father. See if you can think of some opposites. It is cold in the winter, and it is hot in the summer. My father is very tall, and my brother is very short. A rock is hard, but a pillow is soft. An ocean is deep, but a puddle is shallow. I might tell the truth, but I might tell a lie. All of these things are opposites. The morning is bright, but the night is dark. A feather is light, but an elephant is heavy. Sugar is sweet, but a lemon is sour. A jet plane is fast, but a turtle is slow. I can go out in the day, or I can go out at night. I might love to swim, or I might hate to swim. It is interesting to see how many opposites you can think up. I could say hello, but I think it's time to say goodbye. Mark's big game. Mark's favorite sport is hockey. He is 15 years old. Mark practices three times a week. Practices are two hours long. Mark plays one game a week. Mark is a good hockey player. He plays on Friday nights. Friday night hockey games are popular. Mark's family watches him play. Mark's friends watch him play too. There are always many fans. Tonight is the big game. Coaches are coming to watch Mark play. Mark wants to play in the National Hockey League. Mark wants to make a lot of money. It is very hard to play in the NHL. Mark's parents want him to go to college. They want him to have an education. They want Mark to be successful. They want Mark to be happy. The Easter Egg Hunt. Samantha is going to an Easter egg hunt. Tracy is going to an Easter egg hunt. The Easter egg hunt is at Sydney's house. It is going to be fun. Sydney's mom hid chocolate eggs. Sydney's mom hid chocolate bunnies. Everybody is here. Everybody has an Easter basket. The Easter egg hunt can start. Everybody must close their eyes. One, two, three, go! Samantha finds an Easter egg. The Easter egg is behind a table. She puts it in her basket. Tracy finds a chocolate Easter bunny. It's under the couch. Tracy puts it in her basket. 
Sydney finds a chocolate Easter bunny too. It's in front of the television. She puts it in her basket. Everybody finds lots of chocolate. Everybody shares their chocolate. Samantha, Tracy, and Sydney love Easter. My house. I live in a two-story house. The bottom of the house is painted white. The upper part of the house is made of red brick. The chimney is also made of red brick. If you go through the front door and turn right, you'll see the living room. The living room is very large and comfortable. There are easy chairs, a coffee table, and a sofa in there. I like to sit in there and relax. Next to the living room is the dining room. There are a dining table and chairs in there. We use this room whenever we have visitors over for dinner. Beside the dining room is the kitchen. The kitchen has a stove and a refrigerator in it. There's also a kitchen table with some benches added. Most of the time, we eat in the kitchen. Upstairs, there are three bedrooms. My parents' bedroom is very big. They have a large queen-sized bed in there, and there are two closets for their clothes. My room is smaller. My room is painted pink, and I have ruffled curtains on the windows. From my bedroom window, you can see the front yard. There's a pine tree in the front yard. My brother's bedroom is painted blue. He has blinds on the windows. He has a bunk bed in his room. If he has a friend stay over, one of them can sleep on the top bunk. And the other can sleep on the bottom bunk. You can see the backyard from his bedroom window. There are rose bushes and a picnic table in the backyard. There is also a white fence that has a gate in it. In the basement, there is a recreation room. This is where we watch television and have friends over to visit. The laundry room is also in the basement. There's a washing machine and a dryer in there. Beside our house is a garage. We keep the car in the garage whenever the weather is bad. Our house is just the right size for our family. Friends are always welcome at our house. My family. My grandparents are coming to visit us from Calgary, Alberta. My father is very happy because they are his parents, and he's glad that he will see them. We don't see them very often because Calgary is a long way from Toronto. My grandparents have two sons: my father and my uncle Bill. Uncle Bill is married to my aunt Susan. They have a daughter who is my cousin. My cousin is a lot older than I, so we do not have a lot in common. They also have a son who is the same age as me. He is my favorite cousin because we both like the same television shows. And the same games. I have two brothers and one sister. My brothers are both younger than I. They are twins, so they have the same birthday. My sister is one year older than I. People say that my sister and I look alike. We both have blonde hair and blue eyes. My mother's parents live near us. They are my grandmother and grandfather who visit us often. My mother does not have any brothers or sisters. She. Is an only child. I like it when all my family is together. I don't have a lot of cousins like some people do, but I have fun with my relatives. My uncle will often take my cousin and me to the movies. I like to take my grandparents for walks so they can see my school and they can meet my friends. My parents talk to my brothers and my sister and I a lot. We are a very close knit family. People who have close families. Are very lucky.